Yeah, you know what? I, Hello. Uh, good, good evening. I hey. Welcome. Hey. We're just waiting for everyone to connect. Okay. Grandma D, huh, boy, home dog. I still, it's fine. <laughs> um, Aunt Carolyn, I got your message, um, and I'm still looking. I got like, there's a, a whole list of emails, so I'm trying to find the right ones to send to you, but I'll get that to you. Oh, I've already sent it to them. I had to go through other means. Thank you, though. Okay. Awesome. It looks like uh, Kathy's connecting the audio. Um, and I think a Dane messaged and said he'll be joining us as well. So we will hang out for a few minutes and see who logs in. I'd be here all day, on day, on day. Hi, Kathy. Oh, goodness. <laughs> awesome. Oh, my God. I'm trying to find my remote here. here. <laughs> well, we can hear you just fine. So good deal. Very good. Hi, How is everyone doing? Oh, um, busy, busy, busy. I know I was supposed to ask something and I forgot the question, darn it. It'll come. Hi, Grandma Dorothy. Oh my goodness, where's your phone, Mark? That's so about Um, I'm busy or Hey. Like doing lots of different things, <clears throat> like one thing after another, yeah. like going crazy busy. <laughs> I hear you <laughs> doing the same. I got my business and I got my school and, and, oh, it's just, yeah. <clears throat> uh, but that's all right. <laughs> it'll, it'll calm down one day. <laughs> yeah. Someday. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was looking through my little, like, all my notes, trying to find, like, I know we've talked about it before. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to find my little notes with that, with those words around, like, when you're really busy, you're, like, going around like a, like a whirlwind or something. <laughs> well, you say, yeah, yeah, for, for one starters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm busy, you know. Busy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Uh, Melody, I saw Ramon yesterday up here in Norman, and the first thing he said to me, he said, Oh, you boy, how you boy, I said, Oh, I was gonna say the same thing to you, and then I said, <laughs> Okay, then I answer him, and I said, Yeah, oh, yeah, he said, Oh, that means you're busy, and I said, Yes, I was glad that he knew what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. They know, you know. Uh, see. And then you could say, hi, I go, big girl. I mean, so I'm just going every which way because I'm trying to keep up with what I'm doing. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, let's that. see. Can we put that? Can you say that again? I want 
trying to put that in the chat. Oh, I see Dane. Maybe Dane can help yeah, us write Dane that. Yeah, Dane can write that in there for you. Dane, my, um, I was asking. No, I'm, I'm, um, busy. I'm, so, I'm, busy. Yeah, I'm busy or I'm going like a, around like a whirlwind. <laughs> oh, my I'm doing all kinds of things. <laughs> In a minute. <laughs> what was the phrase? Busy. Busy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it yeah. nasalized? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. That one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, if, I, uh, I'm going every which way. Dane, I tell her, how you like, go, big <laughs> Oh, my goodness. That's always funny to say. <laughs> Look, I'm ducking here and there trying to figure out what, what I need. <laughs> oh, that's how I feel this whole mm -hmm. week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, oh, yeah. And then do you have that other phrase? The uh can you say that again, Grandma Martha? Okay. Hi y'all uh, go big um. Go big um. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Hi uh, hi uh, hi uh, hi uh, yeah. Big man. Yeah, Grandma Dorothy's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me get a more uh, accurate version of it i might come off and come back on because uh, i'm being distracted by my own uh image and my image is slower than how i'm talking so <laughs> okay sounds good <laughs> oh uh let me get this hi, in first. hi yeah i'll uh, go Ha, yeah, yeah. Go, babe, go. Well, that's a tongue twister. I gotta, I gotta say that a few times. <laughs> How do you say that? Hi, hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Hi, it kind of oh. sounds like you're like, saying hi, hi y'all. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> you know, like this word, it's like a hagia. Yeah. You know, it's it's from that root, hug, yeah. root word of those. Oh, where okay. it's other ways, every which way it's hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Go, bacon. Mm -hmm. Go, bacon. You know I mean, she just go in every go, which way. <laughs> 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 that's awesome i like that i learned some a word um nanette do you need help troubleshooting the camera i can call us i don't know how to turn it like right side up on her video you know it keeps coming up upside down <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> I just is it attached to the See how it's turned? Yeah. Dane, do you know how to do it? Is it attached to the computer? Is it a laptop or a desktop? It's a laptop. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't know what. I finally figured out how to make it be the video, but. Can you get your phone? Hey. I think yeah. there's a setting under, um, if you go to uh, settings. Let me see if I Getting. can find it. I can and a camera okay i got settings up and then um, where was it settings i just saw a camera cameras at the top on this one um let's see let's see if we can find camera If not, she can just be without her camera. 
can we figure it out? Usually it's like a, a quick thing with the display. Let me minimize okay. my screen and see if I can find it. Nina, is that the uh, old laptop or the new one? The new one. On the new one? Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Um, Steven's looking it up. <laughs> okay. He's going to give you the uh, whatever you need to press. Okay. Mm. Y'all can continue on if you want, if he wants to just message me or whatever. So I met this Kiowa here. Hey, right? she's been here for a while outside of St. Louis, and she's from the Thomas family. Anybody know the Thomas family? Does that sound yeah, Martha Thomas? Mm -hmm. Okay, to her, um, yeah, uh, Martha Donna. Thomas. Uh, who is that? That's a cat. I want to put this way. I think that's a cat. We're talking. Isn't that a cat? Cat. Well, she said her dad was Kiowa, but they made him change his name to Thomas. The last name. Oh, Benny Thomas. There's a I Benny don't. Thomas. Did he live in Ann Arbor? Mm -hmm. No. I think he, well, Dolores might know if she's on. Benny Thomas. I know that there was a dark coat area. I'll That's ask her. Because she might be interested. Well, there's uh, Thomas, Graham Thomas, oh, and Pedal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ask her what her dad's name uh, is. Dorothy should know. Nina? She's not um, on here yet. Stevens? Nanette? Yeah. Steven said that um, there's uh, he, an invite is going to pop up on your screen and just okay. hit accept. And then he's okay. Gonna... okay. Oh, no. Well, well, well. <laughs> What's the invitation for? <clears throat> this is <clears throat> Melody. What's the invitation for? Andy? Uh, that's for me. That invitation. Oh, it, it's for uh, my husband's going to try to help uh, Nanette and Grandma Dorothy fix the uh, camera so we could see her. So she's not upside oh. down. <laughs> oh. Is that anything? Anything, anything? All right. So we're troubleshooting Grandma Dorothy's camera. <laughs> we'll get it fixed. Um, let's see here. Um, well, I guess we can get started officially. Um, yeah, two Let's see. Um, Grandma D, uh, Beta, say. Uh, <clears throat> they the yeah. Do now building a, a, a spectral <laughs> out of the 12th level. So. Uh, Evil outside. Rushing seven, seven. Again, I'm the kid, I'm 
Oh, okay. Okay. See how we're upside down? Uh -huh. But Tom don't know here. I can't be. The daughter of the man. Try it. Uh -huh. Thank you, Grandma D. Uh, uh, my internet is acting up, so I'm going to switch to another network really quick. Um, but I see we have uh, Courtney and Judith, and we have Kathy and Shona, and we have Aunt Carolyn, and for our mentors, we have Grandma Dorothy, Grandma Martha Nell, Grandma D, Miss Marion. And um, we'll take a look at the agenda here in just a second. And also, Dane is here. <laughs> Sorry, Dane. I just found out how to switch it over, but it looks like y'all found out how to switch it too. So, <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> thanks. Okay. Well, Yay! Good. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. There you go, Mom. Can uh, can everyone hear me? Okay. What you looking? For? Oh, yeah. I don't. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, let's see here. So I'm going to. Who's that? It's me. It's me. There, Mommy, you're on video. Hi, Grandma Dorothy. Hello. Your video. You want to switch your chair that way? Yeah, I'm okay. I've left my drink in there. Right okay. I need another can Pepsi. Okay. She went on to the funeral. Right. I need 150 chocolates, 40 of the. Yeah, yeah, I could use some. Awesome. Um, so I see we have Antonia also joining us. <coughs> and I'm switching over to my um, other, my hotspot because my internet is going in and out. So. I need to share my screen, so let me switch over. Back. Hi, Grandma. Okay, now can everyone hear me? <laughs> I hear you. Okay, awesome. Let me pull up our agenda for today so we can um, see what we want to talk about. So let me find you okay? my yeah. agenda. Okay, where is it at? Come on. Okay. No, oh, it's loading. All right, tell me when you can see my screen. Oh. I can. Yes. Awesome. I don't know where. They ain't even, but uh, I talk or the, it's really a reality. I, machinery starts giving out when you reach your 90s. Hmm. Yeah. Patience and fortitude and I've got hearing aids. I'm just trying to in the practice. I'm right now in the process of trying to get a, uh, get used to them. Oh, good. That's good. Hopefully it'll help. 
I know it. It'd be so good to. These ears have heard too much in a whole lifetime. <laughs> oh, that's... They worked the whole 89 years. Hey, go ahead, damn you. Oh. <laughs> Uh, there, our, during World War II, there was a song. It was patience and fortitude, and things will come your way. I was trying to listen to, I mean, old songs today, like Chattanooga Choo Choo, and there were uh, everything was toward patriotism. How fresh it was. We get into a Whole and we don't appreciate nothing. You go to the market, oh. grocery bills twice as much as it was. <clears throat> I can't believe the way things have doubled. It's cat, uh, gotta pray hard. I've never told anyone to pray. They say pray with me or pray for me. Everybody, let's please pray so the stuff will end. I just came from the store and asking Paul to get my grocery bill. Oh, I know. Prices keep going up and up. Ooh, it's terrible. And you have, you have. All of your children yet that you feed properly and you have a regular grocery you know, list. And I have the, there's three of us. And I cannot believe the prices. I just can't. Oh, for sure. And, our, and most of us got put off, let's see, with our speech program. I'm still trying to absorb what. It entails. I'm worried that I'm worried about the people that we taught. Yeah. Are we at regular contact or what's. Uh, I can't get a proper. I asked for papers to explain that to me and I haven't gotten them. Hmm. I want to know what's happening to our candidates. When are we going to? Enter them into the system. Oh, and I want yeah, to that's a, you that's know, a good some, question. Yeah, I want to know that. And they say that we're short of money. Um, if it was spent what it was earmarked for, we'd still have it. And and, and oh. I'm not trying to put a you know. Those were the salaries that were by the grant, weren't they, Melody? The oh. salaries that we got. Oh, that's right. Now, I'm not going to sit here and work for the tribe when it's the most vigorous part and get $6 an hour, hours for two hours. Yeah. You understand where I'm coming from, where I'm coming from, but, oh. but I can't, I can't explain that proper, properly, where nobody will understand me. I know what the original grant said, and now it's it's so drastically cut down that some of them are not even with us anymore. Until oh. there's clarification, I just don't feel. I'm going to keep on doing it, but I mean, I just don't feel like it's been explained properly to me. I'm not going to just jump on something. I want these other ones that we worked with all of this time to be named and recognized also. Oh. And nobody seems to answer that or even ask. Hey, God damn you. I'm having a big mouth. 
Hmm. Well, that's a good question, Dorothy, because I need to work on something. What the objectives were, except to teach the yeah. uh, language. After that, I don't even know what is going on. That you know, just stuff of being helpful, listening, and uh, make comments now and then, but. It's just, I don't really know. Um, well, of course, the Alhonia spent a lot of years on whatever, which is the usual practice, I think. And now, there, I'm curious about what that these people are they're supposed to be teachers, are to be, and how, what are they to be teaching? And is there, a um some type of a presentation they could make like they're going to teach this first and, and, and here's and the here's this second step or we don't know and here sits the lady that wrote the grant with uh, martha addison and i still don't have a clarification and i've, I've been here since that first night and they made it a point to let Melody go from the start. I don't think so many people even know that because people don't say nothing. And now we're at the end of the program and it's just like polite, thanks for the, thanks for the help and no explanation is what I'm getting at. Dane knows he's been around, we've been here since before day one, all of us. And it's it's Melody and Martha that I'm thinking about right now. Because we got a message from Darlene Sankado. Yeah, they do. Sankoka. Or Ta. Okay. I said, I got, um, I got an email. Yeah, from Darlene. She said, "Dear Kiowa language teacher Thank candidates." You. These, this email contains an attachment name announcement to teacher candidates. And it's telling us that uh, it's to, this is an announcement memo to you from the director of the Kiowa Language and Cultural Revitalization Program. If you have any questions. Uh, so I guess, thank you for your time and attention. I think they were like, not having it anymore. Where where did that go? Hang on a minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Hey, you I'm wondering if I'm even still welcome. You know, I I, I oh. ask and I don't get any answers. So Lily Purnell, she signed it. So it's a. I opened it up, and it's um saying that it's um it is a bittersweet that I have to announce that we are coming to the end of the monumental historic time in our tribe, the Kiowa language and cultural revitalization program is reaching the end of our grant period. So I guess they're, right. they're not gonna go for Absolutely. another well, grant. They basically Sorry, didn't no. say that they were gonna try anymore. Has anybody, is, I, I don't dare ask some of the questions. I'll probably be sitting outside. But I'll sit with you. <laughs> why, why doesn't somebody clarify all of this for our, our business committee? I don't care. There'll never be a red legislature to me. They're the business committee. Why doesn't somebody tell them? I don't have, think they even have an idea of what we're doing. Well, I know. All I know is my uh, dude. Oh, did anybody annuity, else get that letter? On my annuity. I oh, I did. Okay. Oh, I got I'll one. Tell you, I'm disinterested. Uh, Fifty fucking thousand. I'm under two hundred thousand in my annuity right now. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Judith. So, what, honey? Oh, I got one also. And I was just under the impression 
from what little I heard is that, you know, the tribe is taking it over, but <clears throat> the, the plan is um, to have maybe just a certain small number of yeah. teacher, teachers involved, but it wasn't really clear. And I said, what's going to happen to the ones we taught? Uh, well, that's what I'm worried about. You know, we, and they're ordering just so much hours, like maybe two or three a week. And the grant was written precisely for the instructors and the people that took the Kai language. Well, if you read, um, this is Antonia Belindo speaking. If you read at the very bottom of Darlene's memo that she sent that is signed by Lily Pinnell, you'll see that in bright red, it says the Kiowa Credentialing Board will remain in place indefinitely to allow current and future teacher candidates to be credentialed. And so it says that the Kiowa tribe will be taking the team under its wings and they will be creating a language department. So this doesn't sound like it's ending. It sounds like they're having to reestablish this outside of a grant run program and it will be into the actual tribal department. Oh, that's good. I didn't read that. Sorry. <laughs> I understood that part. But they don't recognize, everybody is just worried about their own shoes. I was uh, RSVPing, respond if you please to Dolores' um, award she's getting from the AARP or something. I got that seven, eight years ago. And I, it was my idea to nominate the rest of the my cohorts, my buddies on the board for that award. And I was told they discontinued it. I didn't know it was still going. And uh, they're going to get the awards. I can't reach Cricket. I don't know where she's at. We just come in and take over programs and don't even. And damn, Theta, I tell everything. Nothing is a secret with me. That's why I faced this whole board and I predicted this would happen when they fired uh, Melody. We're running an excellent planned program, but we're Kiowas, and that happens every time at that complex. Well, hopefully they get they get that program going. They said they're that's gonna do I mean. the uh, I, I, that's what I'm here for. And if I I'm not Miss Honesty and I'm not Miss I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I can see how things are run. I predicted this from the start because what we were starting with was the all, when it first came into being, they wanted all of their workers to be from Carnegie. And I sat there and argued with them. Then during the program, they didn't want Max Charmaine. Somebody didn't, they named him. And well, I'll teach anybody. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> uh, I got it. It's not half off, but I got a party for tomorrow. It's just the way they operate. The, the Kai was. You see it, history repeating itself every, every day. I don't care what they do, but just so this thing stays alive. I wanted to ask Dane, how close are we to certification on, on our next? I understand I was supposed to sign some papers. Um, I think once all those are signed, that's going to be 15. Um, so now since the grant's over, it won't be so much of the online um, kind of hurrying and getting it done anymore. We'll actually get to go back to where we meet in person and and we, we get to kind of do it by our own timeline. Because what, the only reason we did it that way was to get as many through as possible. I think there's a lot 
uh, one of the things is trying try to, before the grant ran out, is trying to teach people how to study for languages. And that took a while because even through five years, I think when people were studying, there's all kinds of different ways to study for language. But I think a lot of people, there's a lot of people that didn't know how to do that until the right materials were put, were put out. And they were given some proper guidance by other candidates and you know, the teachers here and everything here. So it was almost like you kind of had to teach people how to study. And so that could that took various amounts of time for different people from different backgrounds. And so we got a good 15 in. We didn't complete our 25. And those people will still be able to credential. Uh, it's just not going to be in the hurry up mode like we had before the grant was out. So we can do it maybe twice or you know, maybe three times a year, but at least twice a year where we're kind of open to where we can do the, we can do, we can go back to the interviews where we all interact with the candidates. And at least we have something more clear about, um, you know, what they need to know um, to get credentialed on the Kiowa side. Um, we'll probably have to reestablish a little bit on the professional development. I know we have that, but we'll probably have to uh, see how that, um, you know, who is actually going to be, who's actually going to be looking at that. So with the grant not no longer on it, we don't, I don't know whenever, uh, I don't know if the, the Kiowa language program is going to take that part or that's going to be up to us, which it might be. So we'll kind of have to change a little bit what we're doing, but that's, uh, next Wednesday, next Wednesday before uh, the next uh, meeting, we'll have a meeting over that because since the grant is out, it is going to change a lot of stuff that we end up doing. So we will slow down on that because uh, as far as credentialing to put it in certain times a year instead of every day, because uh, at some point, you know, need a little bit of a break from that <laughs> uh, because it, it can't really focus on anything else because it's trying to get get a lot of the uh, candidates through. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll st so far as it looks, we're still uh, bored and we can still credential people afterwards. It'll kind of give them a time to slow down where they don't feel like they're so pressured to get it under a certain time now. Since the grant is up, the pressure is not as, again, not, not on their shoulders. So if they want to go through it, you know, they'll come and they'll, they'll contact us and they know where to go. They know a lot of them know that, you know, they have the Wednesday nights and elsewhere. We've got a, we got a pretty good network of communication as far as uh, people who are candidates who want to, who want to go through with the, uh, with the evaluation process, but we'll have to kind of organize it a little bit better than uh, what we had before. Overall. Uh -huh. Day on day. Oh, I hold him. I want to say something getting back to what Dorothy mentioned about uh, AARP honored elders. Uh, I'm not the only Kiowa. There are three others that are being honored at, when I am. So. Uh, uh, I make that clear. I'm not. I'm not it. There are three others, uh, family, but I don't know the person. We can hear her because their internet connect connection is unstable. Um, she it's kind of cutting in and out a little bit, but I think she said that um, our three others that were selected and are receiving awards is that is that true. Did I hear that right? I was going to nominate all of them. There are other, there are other, I told well, I there was, are other tribes. There are other tribes. They're not just the Kiowa. And there are, th oh, there are four, there are four I'm, Kiowas. I'm bragging, but I got that award eight years ago. And so I was going to nominate you four. I thought it was time because y'all done something great. And, and I was what I wasn't griping about who got it. I'm griping about them telling me it was no longer in. They weren't doing that anymore. Cricket told me that they're not. They're not taking candidates. 
Aunt so, Dorothy, this is Carolyn. I don't know how it worked either. I just know that Darren Zotai from the AOA at the Kiowa Tribe called mom in, in May and wanted to nominate her. So that's how it came about. Now, they're not doing as big big as they did before where they have a hall of fame they're just having hors d'oeuvres in in drinks on that next wednesday afternoon so they're not having a big meal i guess they sc scaled it down since when you received your award and mabel are you still on i was worried about the ones that weren't mentioned as being with the program anymore that have been with us for several years. I don't see Mabel Kosad on here. No, it all got messed up around. You could actually nominate yourself and they take you now. And Cricket and them, uh, Cricket and them done the entertainment for years. And it was taken out from under them. Dog eat dog on these Indian performers. I see well, what I, I think, Melody, we should get on with your what you have on your agenda. That's my suggestion. Oh. Good, good discussion, good information, and hopefully uh, you'll get some more clarity, you know, as as uh, the tribe makes some decisions about, you know, what the language program is going to look like. So, um, no, I don't um, Honda and Sida, um, Honda. Uh, my main thing was continuing and um, I guess I'm looking for um, an answer. Do I just need to stay, you know, and get on on Wednesday nights? And because it's just kind of like we're out there, <laughs> you know. And, I know it. Um, oh. Oh. Uh, I, I will stay because uh, my plan is to move up, you know. I want to keep studying and continue. Yeah. We can't just. Uh, leave everybody hanging right in the middle. That's why I I'm so outspoken. Oh, well, you guys don't hardly say anything, so I, I thought I'd better ask. A question. As long as we have Zoom, I'll be on. Oh. <laughs> There's two of us. <laughs> Well, that was a uh, part of the motivation behind offering these Wednesday sessions is to continue and provide some support, you know, until the tribe makes some decisions on what, you know, what they want to do. So, um, and so these sessions, we have um, opportunity for practicing uh, speaking. That's, why, um, but that's gratifying to me. And some places just keep on learning how that's the like we were informal, you know, all these years here in Norman. And so wherever I was being you know discussed or taught, I just encourage you to keep on because you are interested. So formal or informal or uh, whether the Kiowa tribe uh, <clears throat> sponsor that's what, that's what I've experienced all these years that I've been here. Fifteen is be at least fifteen years. This is Carolyn. I that or had spoken to Ramon, and they're still waiting on some grants that they applied for to see if they will be funded. And he said he they don't know until 
Okay, what's that? She's, she's got a bad yeah, connection. Sounds like a, uh, yeah, Aunt Carolyn. One guitar. Yeah. Your, your, uh, uh, your audio Dream. is cutting in and out. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, it says Did you... a bad connection. <laughs> we're, we're losing. So, and that's the trouble with meeting on Zoom. <laughs> Need to meet yeah. in person. <laughs> ha. Um, I think we can hear you better now, but <laughs> yeah, I only caught a little bit of what you said. Uh, you talked to remote. Oh, something's going on. What was said? I didn't even read it and it's gone. It's from Antonio. All right, hopefully everyone can hear me. I don't know, our internets are having issues right now. <laughs> so hopefully uh, we'll be able to hang in there. Um, so yeah, I'm, you know, hopefully we can make some, uh, just continue to make sure that our leadership understands the importance and that we have all these resources you know here and we're you know able to contribute and support and you know see what they uh decide uh, but i say keep asking them questions and hopefully the uh next uh Kyle has a partner program whatever they're going to call and it's on the budget so I agree with you, Antonia. Paul. Oh. And who um, is the, okay. what is that? Uh, what's his name from Hobart? Is that his sister? The one that sent in the notice about something? Is she with the program? Who's that? Lucero. Or somebody. Oh, uh, well, I know Dini Lacero is uh, Joe Lacero's daughter, and she uh, works, or she used to work on, she might still work with the higher ed program at the tribe. Yeah, she does. I think she's the head of that now, since Warren's not there. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so let's take a look at our agenda. <laughs> um, so we have for Wednesday, November 2nd, um, we have our focus session is to continue discussing uh, and practicing Kiowa prayer phrases. And then we want to talk about some strategies for teaching Kiowa to early elementary students, kindergarten through second grade. And this is where um, we'd love to hear from each of our, our elders, our mentors to share what they feel is important as well, um, that we should you know teach and, and kind of how we should teach. Um, and then we'll have some open practice time at the top of the hour. Um, and the suggested practice rooms uh, would be to continue to practice the Kiowa help phrases that we discussed um, in our, uh, what was it two a couple sessions ago and then um we could also have some extra breakout rooms for people who want to use study stack or you know if you want to practice the conversation piece or whatever you'd like to practice on and then in the main room we're gonna continue trying to translate a prayer that we've been looking at for the past couple weeks so that's our plan and we'll see what we can do um Ah, cool. Uh, so I wanted to start with uh, just seeing um, if we have any uh, anyone here on the line who would like to ask for some translations or transcriptions or explanations of Kiowa prayer phrases. Um, I know that previously, um, not just in, in these sessions, but a few years ago, 
um, I've heard from each one of our elders, each one of our mentors here that it's really important as a Kiowa person to know how to pray in our language. And so we were all challenged uh, back when we were all teacher candidates to um, come up with a prayer um, that we could be comfortable and learn how to pronounce and use um, if, if ever we're called on to offer a prayer at a gathering or something. So um, this is an opportunity to kind of ask uh, some questions of our mentors here and get some translations of prayers. And so last week we kind of looked at some of the translations of prayers that were um, already uh, developed by some of the credential teachers uh, when they were candidates. And we talked about some common phrases. Um, and we also talked about a really good resource, which I know um, our elders have really stressed to us is we could definitely look at the um, language that's used in the Kiowa hymns and use those as prayers and as different phrases to use and include in our prayers. Um, so that's kind of what we talked about last week. So I wanted to give everyone a chance. And I know we have several uh, teacher candidates and uh, credential teachers here with us on the line. So I'd love to hear from all of you um, any strategies that you'd like to share around um, how you came up with your prayer or if you'd like to share your prayer or if you wrote down a prayer and you want to get some translations on how to say it in Kiowa. Um, now's an opportunity for that. So I'll open it up and see if any of our um, any learners on the line would like to ask any questions at this time and get things translated. Um, I can put a Word document up and write things down for them and then, then they can send it to you to send it out. So if, if you awesome. do, it's, I can share the, share the things so that way I can participate that way. Uh -huh, Dane. Um, I stopped sharing, so you should be able to share now. Okay. Cool. Uh, share screen. So let's see, I think last week, uh, Courtney shared her prayer that she came up with. Um, Antonia, I, it's funny that you joined tonight. We um, Last week we were looking at all the resources in the Google Drive and we saw um, a prayer that you have put together last year. So I thought that was kind of cool. I was just thinking, I was like, I think I had a good lesson on prayer. Um, I'd have to pull it up, but it's been a while. I was just telling Dane, I'm like, I miss community classes because um, I really like teaching them. And it was really neat to see the elders who knew how to pray and then like the ones who don't, I guess, or like the ones who really aren't competent in speaking. So um, I guess one of the strategies I could even like suggest, I know this isn't like necessarily a translation into Kiowa, but, um, you know, for everybody from the experts to the to the ones that we probably will be trying to help is that I think prayer is always a good one to start with one because you can tie it into the cultural aspect of the program or like the values of Kiowa people that we're trying to teach too. that you know everything starts with that pause and prayer and so um, that was always important to me to make sure that they at least attempted to do even if it was very basic you know kind of going back to how we were taught as children and kind of approaching learning Kiowa with that childlike sense of mind. So, you know, they were, oh, I always heard a lot of like, okay, I'll try it. Wait, no, never mind. I'm not going to do it tonight. And it's like, this is the best place to try. So I would say the, the coolest part about prayer was being able to say like, well, this is one of your most um, personal ways to speak. So feel free to, um, you know, sometimes we're not always right, you know, when we speak English, you know, whatever right is supposed to mean, but it's prayer is one of the most humble ways to approach, I say, speaking or learning Kiowa. So that was just always kind of my strategy is to be encouraged to at least do that and encourage people to approach it that way. So I know it was always just really intimidating at times too. Oh, 
definitely appreciate that, Antonia. That's really um, nice to hear, like kind of like that validation and just, um, you know, thinking about how we can create an atmosphere where whoever's learning from us would be, you know, that's more conducive to them being willing to kind of take a chance. And because, you know, when we talk about prayer, for me, I would always get really intimidated because I grew up hearing like my grandma and all my elders like praying. And it's a uh, very intimidating sometimes to think about, but um, that's a really good uh, point is making sure that, you know, if we're starting off with prayer, then, you know, no matter what, people will always have those words and those phrases that they learn and they'll carry that with them. So does anyone else have any other um, additional strategies or thoughts about what Antonia shared? There's a Kiowa church song. Aho do te i. Ma o de e o me. Na ki da gya o de bo. Thank you, God. You really favored me, and I've seen another day. And then it's Aho do te i. Those are perfect words for a prayer. Yeah, I was just going to suggest that, um, Grandma and it's Dorothy. A exact words, you know, when you say, I'm talking. Who's talking? Who's talking? Yeah. 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 I think uh, Miss Marion was trying to say something, but I don't oh, know if the connection it's a, is. It's a church song that was evidently brought from the prayer or the prayer was brought from the church song. And all prayer, all prayer uh, Kiowa religious songs are prayers. So what you're doing anyway there, and I think that's a beautiful comparison. Like mine. It's a person that's sick, and they're saying you do, you were kind to me, God, and I've seen another day. Kida get oibo. Oh. And my own. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Really yeah. Okay. You could just turn that down and press it like a prayer. And then instead of singing that's it, just talk it. <laughs> yeah. Just say it, huh? <laughs> And then that one that says it's sort of on a on a more sorrowful note, but still we should learn those so we'll know how to sing. It's a key, open the doors of heaven to me. And my children, not your be dots are he. Not your be dots are he. I'll meet you in the future. It says, God opened the doors of heaven to me. I'm happy. My children keep on praying. I'll meet you somewhere in the future and then dog a han kibuma god cures everything and that's another prayer whoever composed these was a a winner 
And there's a book out, you know, I have a copy somewhere, but it has the ones that compose those songs. Mm. And it, they're just self-explanatory when you're singing the songs. And daughter oh, little story uh, behind. Honda. Hmm? Oh, and it's, real, it's real soft. Like if I was asking um, if I if I was asking somebody like a melody to pray, I would say melody be daughter. Or you would say Kimberly be 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 daughter. You're specifying, pray for the meal. Or, and Marion, be on tando outside. Marion, pray because we're happy. Or, you know, you could specify. I think that's such a pretty yeah. expression. Oh. I, pray about it. I pray a lot in Kiowa at my church, you know. It's mostly English and copes and I now. I say copes and I, I don't like to say cope tokoy. It's two words for the Mexican race. They're mountain white people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one is Gulp St. I. And then we call the white race all koi, big ears, or um, donkeys. That's my contribution, Miss Antonio, with the with prayers, you know, you could just listen to your church songs and then get that. Although when you guys, well, you, you all know how to pray, but the words are so easily picked up as you go along. I never write them in advance or nothing. I, they're spontaneous. And that song, you know, it's it is sad, but we should all learn it so we can sympathize with people. And then be joyful or our beautiful birthday song. We're the only tribe I know of that has a complete birthday song. That's another first for Kiowas. Out of the many. Oh, it's pretty awesome. One day, one day. Uh, my own day. How? What was? Uh, I know. I, I know what it is, but I'd rather have y'all's definition. How would you? How would you describe the definition for my own day? My own day. Oh, how happy it is! Or how happy I am! Or one day, own day. You know, when you're really like. If you've seen your son or somebody step off the plane, it's a hard, you know, and he's coming back from the war, you'd say, Honde on day, a ho doggy, or ma on day, a on ya. It's just extreme happiness. And ma on day, but I'm getting a dog, he get time on me. It's just a hard expression of how thankful you are for something. Oh, I'm happy. You know, oh, you make me so happy today. It's to the point of elation. <laughs> it's just uh, hugging happy, kissing happy. You know, it's just thanking the Lord for even waking up. Come on, ladies. 
Let's each give them an explanation of how prayers we can take. <clears throat> oh, was that okay, Dane? Oh, yeah. I just need a proper definition. I had one in there, but it was blank. That's why I just needed one definition. I need, yeah. need a definition, so that's that's good. That's what I wanted. <laughs> if a senior or when I see Johnny, I'd say, oh, Hyundai, oh, they, you know. I'm talking about Johnny Pulo, my nephew. Oh. So what I'm doing right here is on here is I'm just grabbing these words. And since I already made in the glossary, I'm just making a mini one just for just for the words for prayer. And, yeah. and so I'm just going to go ahead and put them on here. And so it'll be a shorthand for uh, the hymns and people's prayers and things like that. But just kind of build on to it. <laughs> you know what, uh, Dane? Uh, oh. Comparing... For instance, our dear Tung Kong God. I was doing that this last couple of weeks ago. And some of our songs, uh, uh, you know, like our Alda, Yalda, some of them have words and they're not even any way connected to what you're dancing. All Koi Bakun, Bat Kobe. You explained that to me. <laughs> when you run around, it's no good. Right in the back of a battle song. Or is it a gourd dance song? Uh, so, hey, Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, all koi bakun bat kobe. And, and those are named after you, Antonio. All koi bakun, oh. you know, your name. Uh, I'm all the gun. Oh. You know, and why? I wonder what the significance is there. There's the Ohomo song that says, Mande yoko egu e orne pago entendo. The people are the west. There's a lot of them, but I only want one. I lay here and I do this all the time. I just, questions I got to share with somebody. Hold up. Uh, uh oh it the the words to those song that song again uh-huh which one that one you were just singing monday it's a word that there's a lot of there's a lot of women from the west side but i just prefer one they're not suggesting oh. you... is that all koi bakun bat kobe is that what he was all koi bakun bat kobe and we laugh, but we never try to think what, what it's really saying. <laughs> it's a, don't, when you dance bad, they're actually giving you advice, I think. They say, it's no good when you dance all koi bakun. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what that he was in there for. And I think I made a discovery and I have to tell the leaders and they'll chase me off. <laughs> the 10 bravest, I think I found that song in my head. Dane, you know the one I mean. That's Kato Ya Onde. Kato Ya Onde. Hate it. Hate a pont on a 
It says, I like war. I like war. I'm going to stand right here now and face the bullets. Oh. And that's our mighty Ken Bravis. Say that again. It's on me if yeah. you go to that yeah. Hanks collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. George Palmer was liking that song so much, and we never got it uh, translated before he passed. Can you sing that again, Grandma Dorothy? That one. Hmm. That last one. Uh, the the grand the steak down song. Oh. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh they died. Oh yeah, oh they pay. Oh man. And then the words are kind of garbled. Uh, Dane and I usually translate those. I'm gonna stop now. What he meant was I'm gonna go ahead and stake myself. And he's saying, I like war. I like war. I like war. I'm going to stop now. And then the words are a little garbled, but that's when they stake. God, I'll stop. It ain't. I come out. Oh, no. You know, they're kind of jumpy, those, because they were, they were dancing to the, to the end, unless somebody cut them loose. And contrary to stories, we had our own uh, contraries. And if you said, once, uh, when you met, cut me loose, you would say, don't cut me loose. Mm -hmm. And they said, our great warrior said, I ne never asked to be cut loose. Mm -hmm. That goes through my mind when I'm out there. I don't even, I'm not even aware of my surroundings. Oops. Hold on. Oh. Dane, we're going to have to someday finish that tornado horse. You yeah, remember? now that we're doing this, I think it's going to be a lot easier now that things are going to calm down just a little bit. I think it's going to be a lot easier to do that yeah. stuff. But I miss doing that stuff, and that's been about six years <laughs> since I got to really. <laughs> and we there. were just finishing that where they're making the clay horse, didn't it? Mm. Oh. It, it ran away from them, that song. You guys will hear it as soon as we learn it. Awesome. It was, know, an, it was an accident in relatives, and we ran out of the library like we were had demons behind us. <laughs> I could run then. <laughs> This is good. This is awesome. <laughs> and this is uh, with Dane. He's a good singer. That that when I ask you about melody, when I said who's singing that, would you sing that, no, uh, Dane? <laughs> the actual words. The, sa the, the sand spreading song, Dane. <laughs> we were talking oh, about it. Uh, uh, when was it? Station. Sunday. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, now I'm just trying to remember it. Uh, they put used on the spot, Grandma. I could be his recording in. <laughs> that your yeah, words are think clear. About it. <laughs> uh, it's uh, a brush. Uh, it accompanies the brush dance yeah. the way they do it now. But you sing it so plain, and the words. Yeah, are... we were talking about brush dance. Uh, we were listening to that Kiowa Culture Program recording on the brush dance. And yeah. they, they mentioned that song. And so we were, they didn't, they only said a couple words from that song. And I was like, hey, I think I might have a recording. And so I found your recording. <laughs> Please, could you sing it first? Yeah, I'm trying to get the words, trying to remember it. Let's see if um, I just remember it. <laughs> Boy, be yai guna yai kata igya. Ah man. Amma ko on. Yo ya on deep. Does yes. that sound right for the words? Yes. Okay. Because uh, the regular singers they get to that part and they say ah ho ya he ya he ya, and the kids are usually jumping up, rabbit dancing. 
started out too too low, but that is so cute. It's a little sand cleaners from the Sundance. They're clean. They're cleaning up the the site. The the little uh, sand holders. Little girls and boys. Who's yeah. the charter? Who's the charter members with us that were rabbits? We all are. <laughs> you men got the words to that now in online. If anyone's listening. It's the clearest um, heard them since the Hanks collection. I think uh, Dana, didn't you? I think you did like a written transcription of that song. I'm gonna um, try to dig them up now because I did lose a couple of my drives. Um, so I'm gonna have to search back into older stuff. I think I do have them in some older drives that I have. So okay, if well, I can let me find know, them. I uh, think I'll I'll look I'll look too. Um but let me know if you can't find it and then I can look and you know what, yeah. what I have. Judith, are you here? Judith. Oh, I'm here. You're a singer at the drum. That's uh <laughs> that's a brush dance song. Oh. They did it now, but uh, it sounds good. So grab those words when as you can. I wish that's what I enjoy doing, Dane. Oh. Marion. Marion's been working since before Kaiwa Voices. Bayoro, wait, Bayoro dog, I remember it had a title to it. I think it was called something like that. Yeah. Anything you know that has words, bring them and let's analyze them. Oh. We've, uh, poor Rainy Mountain singers, we've worn them out, the, the, the ones from the Kiowa. Oh, you. Awesome. Yeah, I, I just think it's so interesting hearing, like when we listen to those old recordings and then we hear them talk about songs and then we actually find the songs that they're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and hey. Uh, pretty cool. Um, let's see. Uh, I see. Go ahead. Dane and I even learned some Wichita ghost dance song. <laughs> yeah, words with their pretty chants. <laughs> nice. Um, let's see. Does anyone else have anything to add to? either any of our discussion on the songs or on different prayer words that we could reference? Wow. Oh, cool dog. I'm trying to think of a short prayer. Well, if they specify like it's evident if you're at a funeral service, what kind of songs? If you're a thankful birthday service, it's evident if you're at Christmas time. But we were to the point up to 10 years ago where people were just singing 
songs that weren't appropriate for the for what you were doing, like singing a birthday song. Well, then that then that or sat in where they sing and then like a birthday song for a funeral or a, a joyful song at a, a healing um, church service. But to me, there's no comparison with the church songs that Kiowa has, Kiowas have with the Pentecostal. And then each denomination has a different sound. And Kiowas are better than anyone I've known on expressions, on happy songs and sympathy songs. When you're when you're praying, um, Honda and Saida. Monday. Are there different different ways you can ask when you're talking to Doc even Crane to bless this gathering of people? Doggy. Yeah. Let's each give it a try on how we'd say it. Okay. Uh, Dog. Oh, go ahead, Grandma Dorothy. Doggy, that's God. Doggy is Jesus. Doggy the title. It on time. It on time. A on time. How would you say, Zimpty, I'm asking you, how would you say, a dog gather? Our gathering. Mm -hmm. Like that. That's a good start on the first. Uh, God be with us. As humble or calm as we are, we're gathered in thankfulness for all you do for us. Oh, oh, Grandma Dorothy. Um, let's see. I think uh, Miss Marion, did you want to for a suggestion to Judith? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I was just uh, agreeing that there are prayers for others and people. Just a question that she had. But. Um, I noticed uh, from yeah. the old days, even our elders, some of them used to say, Doggy, da bless them. You know, oh. they kind of mix their, even our mothers, you know, <laughs> and when they pray or be asked to pray. So there was a lot of mixture during the middle part of our journey through the Kiowa language. Some of those words had to come back. Yeah. Um, and Dorothy, um, what Dorothy was commenting about, whenever there are prayer services or the church, depends, there were always, um, as she mentioned, they would uh, ask for a prayer for a certain, and they would name the topic, cause, like if it was for, someone who was ill or if it was a birthday or and people just you know the, they willingly would pray and the words were just like came them they were just so natural just like us speaking english well the kaiwa language of course we understood it yeah because that's all they spoke to each other in uh, Kiowa, but then there are the other uh, songs that are sung, and we call them Christian Kiowa, Christian hymns today. And those, again, I agree, they were 
they came from prayers and uh, there's a little story behind each one but i won't go into that and um so there's really their heartfelt uh, feelings went into their their prayers about whatever situation they might be going through and they were thankful to um god and for their healing or whatever they were situation they were going through and so that is where the beauty of it all is i think in the prayer and in the song there's one and the words. We, we would not be human if we didn't have bad thoughts sometime about anything any situation i'm not talking about just people but this is a good healing song for your insight. Dog eagle taba, beg ya don't get to the gooey bay. Beg ya don't get to the gooey bay. Beg ya don't get to the gooey bay. Dog eagle taba, beg ya don't get. So the gooey bag. I've hummed that a lot of times. Bag you don't get is your inner being. Down deep. Heal us there. Because God is watching us. I could be singing to his son, Jesus, you know. And uh, it's just saying that over and over. Clear my clear my thoughts. Clear my mind. Don't let me have bad thoughts. And that's a pretty one, just a prayer just to say to yourself. I know I've used it a lot of times. And it's just repetitive. It's just, I'm old and I can't sing anymore. But the, the tune changes, you know, as it goes. But it's just uh, dog key is watching you. It's God. And beg you don't get so gooey bay. Or you're and it, just talking when you say and gooey bay or dog gooey bay. That means heal us. And it's just regular gooey bay. Gooey bay. And then you could say gooby. Goo. How do you say Martha when you're with last? It's it's just your expression there. What is that? <laughs> what was that again? Say it again. Yeah. So there's just so many ways of praying. I'm finished with my part now, Melody. Who's next? Oh, oh, um, let's see. I think uh, Miss Marion, you wanted to add something. Um, no, I, I think I probably interrupted with my with my comments, but no, that's that was that all I guess with the prayers. Oh. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I see we have uh, Grandma D. We have Miss Brenda and Grandma Martha. So, uh, Grandma D, would you like to comment? Um, I'm sorry, I stepped away a little bit. Comment on on what were you? What was the? I know it's on prayer, but oh. what was the? Uh... Um, to give like uh, some suggestions for learners on. Uh, different prayer phrases that they could say that are kind of like simple and straightforward, but um, things that they could, you know, kind of keep with them on prayers. Well, I don't, it's just like uh, if you need a, a, a sample to go by, it's always all the Kiowa hymns, like Dorothy said, they're all beautiful. But, uh, 
for me to, uh, prayer is something that's very personal and spontaneous. And so for me, and so I think it's kind of difficult, except you do mention God, dog E and dog E and Vega dog E, the Holy Spirit. These are, these are Those are, uh, the, uh, the Trinity. And some of the hymns, Kiowa hymns, Christian hymns, uh, are, uh, <clears throat> are very, uh, what am I trying to say? The the composers of the song I'm trying to say is they, they were really knew what they were singing about. They were really, they really knew whom they believe and they really knew how to express their belief and their prayers and they're beautiful. They're scriptural, a lot of the hymns. Some of the hymns are very scriptural. In other words, uh, like there's a song about the Trinity, and so some of them are very uh, uplifting and amazing. That that are people who do not the first believers, you know English, and they didn't know the hymns, the English hymns. So they they did their own, they made their own. Uh, songs and just like they did like you were singing those other songs the sun and brush dance songs or Kai was a very musical and so and singing uh Kyle Christian hymns is no different they're very beautiful they were able to do that because they are very musical people <clears throat> and there it's just uh inspirational to hear the old the old songs and, and the messages that they have tells you that they really, they really, they were really believers. And they really knew what they were singing about. Omaha. And like I said, it's very uh, personal and, and, you know, spontaneous. So I, I hesitate to give you any except the, you know, the words, the Trinity, and uh, perhaps listening to some recordings of Iowa Christian hymns. Oh, aho, aho, Grandma D. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, uh, Grandma Marthanel, would you like to comment? Um, yeah, I was talking about the prayer structure. Um, there's certain songs that um, kind of stick with you sometimes. <laughs> and and uh, sometimes in church, they'll start singing a song and you'll think about it. And you know that you've heard it many times. But if you just sit there and listen to the words, what they're saying, there's a lot of meaning to it. And so it's not just repetitive and you're not just singing that song along. But what the one I thought about, and I don't have the whole thing in my head right this minute, but it's uh, kind of a thank you. Um, you're, you're thanking the creator. And it begins something like, Oh, dog, yata, oh, man. And what I'm going to point out is in part of that song, toward the middle to the end, is that, um, get tape calm, no yata, oh, man. And to me, that get tape calm is like I desperately called on him and he helped me. And that's what happens when people get sick or something happens crazy to you and it's not the normal thing that you're going through so you know that's where the prayers come in that's where, how you kind of form your uh formulate your words that you want to say when you're saying your prayers so i would think just whatever the um thought or the occasion is and you're thinking about it that's how you're going to come up with those words to put your prayer together and like i said there's various different prayers that you can do uh, like she said in the beginning, I think Dorothy mentioned different types of prayers. So if you think about it and just take that subject and think about it a little bit, you can kind of pretty much put words together to describe what you want to say. Then that's the way I look at it. That's the way I do it. Oh, I hope. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I saw Miss Brenda on. Uh, Miss Brenda, would you like to add any comments? 
Well, it's hard to add to perfection because these ladies are marvelous in what they say. But I agree with everything they say. And I especially like the Aho Daki. We've sang it for years and years in our church. And we still sing it. And I think the class learned it last year. So some of the twos, Kawa twos come in and they're singing it right away. They just break out in songs sometimes. And that's one of the songs they'll sing. So very exciting to hear. It's the easiest to me song to teach. And it's it's got good words. And our priest even knows how to sing it. So appropriate. And then um, uh, I noticed Dolores uh, said church songs. The Native American church, the songs, the Holy Sunday songs, the Pentecostal, they all call on the same God for blessings. I know there was an article written about the first priest that came in this area and he attended a Sampi meeting and he said, uh, what race of people sit up on their knees for 12 hours each night at night and pray? So he's seen the he's seen the reverence. When Kai was pray, I see the reverence in all of them. The 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 regular church hymns in English are not to me do not sound as powerful as a Kiowa prayer. The feeling is there. They were humble. Sometimes they. Our grandmas would say a call on a call on or who's a call on means I'm just a poor person. I'm nobody. One Hyundai I don't know. I'm nobody. That's humbleness to me. And they say hotel body to go get time. I heard that a lot. But they hang get up. Who's gonna come up and help us? They're all gone, talking about your relatives. I'm Beto the Cape Doll Chapter. That's I'm leaning towards you in desperateness for prayer. Egate hayato aba nega ongwe kodo ya onde onde bako ngoi kekombo. A long profound sentence but it says they all went someplace now and we're here ourselves but we have prayer but the Kiowas never failed to put call on a call on. they didn't mean materialistic things they meant inside only one perfect man in the whole world and that was the Kai creator I'm glad you did this. Ah, thank you so much. I appreciate each thought and thoughts and really good, um, important things for us to keep in mind as we kind of think about the way that we want to pray in Kiowa and really consider all of, all of the different ways that we could go about that. So, uh, really appreciate all of your comments and your thoughts. Um, let's see here. So uh, we have, um, so first off, I want to see, so we have about 13 minutes left um, of our session. Is there anyone that wants to go into a separate breakout room? to that or whatever topic you'd like to practice on or would you like to uh we could pull up that prayer that we were looking at the Dom day and see if we can tackle the next next line so 
what what would you like Now, if anybody wants to, I can jump into the room and take that. Uh, and uh, I can take that uh, Word document and kind of quickly show you how to make your own sentence with those individually. It takes a little bit of time. You got to download some a few things. So, uh, but once you get them downloaded, I could probably tell you really quickly to how to how to how to how to how to use that. What I'm just making. It's a smaller version of the glossary, but. Um, uh, I could go in there and tell you quickly how to use it with the time that we have left. Oh, that's an awesome offer. Oh, so does anyone want to go uh, work with Dane and see about creating your own prayer words from that document we were looking at? Oh. <laughs> sure okay, is. looks like you got at least three. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I can't make the room, so if you just make them, I can go in there. Oh, sorry. Let me... Uh, Make you a okay. Hopefully, you'll see it now. Okay. All right. Break out and uh, Courtney said that she had to go help um, her son with homework, so she had to jump off. Okay. I just made one room, so uh, I'll be in there. Awesome. So uh, go ahead and click on the breakout rooms and uh, if you'd like to join uh, Dane in that room, hop over there. And meanwhile, we'll pull up the screen and we'll see if we can make some sense of this, of this prayer. <laughs> and I see people hopping over there um, into the breakout room. It's just, it's just named room one. So Whoever wants to get over into room one. And uh, we'll see them back here in about 10 minutes. Um, so uh, does anyone else want some help? Do, you, do any of you want to go into that uh, breakout room? All right. Meanwhile, I'm going to pull up the uh, prayer that we've been looking at. I know I made a copy of it somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, I'm going to share my screen again. Okay, so um, let's see. So here we are. Once again, <laughs> we're working through this prayer. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, touch the earth. So, uh, Grandma Martha Nell, I think uh, you had some insight last week. Did <laughs> Was there any, uh, did you have any luck with uh, researching this? <laughs> um, I really never had the time to get back into it, looking into it anymore. This is, this is a busy week for us this week because we have something going on Saturday and everybody's preparing for it and I'm balancing school along with what I have to do and I think after Saturday I'll have time again to research and do some, some stuff for their language but no I just haven't had time oh, in there. no but, worries <laughs> but I know there's something there I mean it's different that's why yeah well, that's a good point um so last week uh we had talked about how this phrase, uh, there's actually a book. It came out, what did you say? It came out like in the 70s or 80s. Mm -hmm. um, and it's called Touch the Earth. And it has like all these Native American prayers from different tribes. Mm -hmm. And so we were all kind of curious if maybe uh, Parker McKenzie took, you know, Submit. I don't know, maybe he submitted it as part of that book. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't read that book. <laughs> I did find it though. I found it on Amazon. Uh, I didn't order it. <laughs> I was gonna try to go to the library, but I haven't had time either. So, um, so it's still a mystery. We'll uh, we'll try to you know keep keep researching, see what we can find. But let me go down to. 
Okay, so do we want to, does anyone want to kind of read off the lines that we translated so far uh, in Kiowa? Um, oh, it's the Lord's Prayer. And mm -hmm. I got myself mixed up because we tried that, didn't we, Brenda, on Clemente? I believe so, yes. Oh. <clears throat> um, let's see. Grandma Martha, are you are you able to just uh, read off these the line? There's just the Kiowa. Okay. Dum oyom dog e pon mind all day. It's just like saying our father which art in heaven. And the next one. Go ahead and read through till we get to the uh I think it's like the fifth or sixth line that we got to. Don't I got a dog day? Don't I? I mean, I'm sorry. Don't I got a dog day? It's good, or it's a good line. Anga saw doom a dog. And that one, I, didn't we change that? That little word there, or something like that, that first one? Um, I thought we changed I, that on one of the things. I think we, we talked about it, but I didn't make a note here. So <laughs> what should I change it to? What should it say? It's either that or further down that we change something when it speaks to me. Um, um, but I'm um, um, yeah, got but um, got dog. So I think that's what we said. It's on of your own making of something that you made. Is this um, is this um, accurate or do we need to change the no, first word? For now, I'm gonna still look at it, but I think we changed it in another place somewhere. So I'll have to look at that one too. Okay. And then this one, I think, is the part. This is where we stopped. We stopped there. Okay. Um, yen om da, hai ga song, pape ga ah, to ga cope, pan ga sape, get da de. That's what he created, all that. Aho. And so this first, um, yeah, no, this I'm first not. phrase you made. That, that's what you made. You made. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it lists everything. And, and then we have it right here. Earth yeah. the and grass. All days, that's what. That's what it was. That's what you created. Yes. These are ideas. Okay. okay, I'm trying to keep up with our notes here. Um, that's what, did you say that's what it was? Mm -hmm. These are these things that you created. Get down, get get down. All these things are what you create. Get Um. So is that is this like uh? I guess a convention. Like if we were trying to, if we were asked to pray about something. Could mm -hmm. we just kind of say things in a list like this? Well, to me, all God. that's kind of nature. You know, that's yeah. what is it's on it? the earth. He created on on the earth the things first. He, you know, first he created light. That was the, and that's maybe to me go back to the um, beginning of the Bible. You know, when mm -hmm. it starts talking about what he created, and it lists everything down to those seven days. The rocks and mountains, clouds, and the yeah. rain. Yeah. And the Lord's Prayer, it says, you know, the key to the Pimago. Give us this day our daily bread. Mm -hmm. The hundred ton, you know, it's the the oh. Lord's Prayer. I could write it for y'all, but it'd be just a, you know, translation. 
Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I've ever seen the Lord's Prayer in Kiowa. Um, if you or maybe uh, Miss Brenda, if you have the written version. Like that. I'll, I'll, we have to all write our own version. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because yeah. we all know the, you know. Lord's Prayer. Everything. Yeah. I'm in Keta, yeah. You know, that's your kingdom. You're the chief of it all. <laughs> you know. Oh. oh God. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. pretty. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we all try that? Yeah. You know what, Grandma Dorothy, that made me think. Uh, when you said there's a Lord's Prayer in Kiowa. So, you know, uh, that we talked about Kiowa sign language last, was it last week or the week before we talked about sign language? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be cool to have, instead of doing the uh, signs to an English, the English Lord's Prayer, the girls doing the signs to the Kiowa Lord's Prayer, like in Kiowa? That works. <laughs> yeah, because each tribe does it different, the Lord's Prayer and signs. You know, oh. and, and the words are so pretty. We ought to use everybody's version, mm -hmm. even if it's not it's according fun. to what people have written. Our yeah. own, like I call Saint Kateri, Kateri Tekawitha. I call her Oime Ma, the woman that stands above, next to the Blessed Mother. You know, Ooh, beautiful. It'd be You'll up to doing that. Yeah? Sounds sounds like it'd be a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, just to put a, a plug in for next week, <laughs> we have in our main room again when people go to practice translating Kiowa prayers. So if, uh, I don't know, Grandma Martha, Grandma D, Miss Brenda, uh, Miss Marion, if uh, you have time, um, if you have a, a copy of the Lord's Prayer in Kiowa, or just any prayer, really, but it'd be awesome to have each of you share it with us, and that'd be kind of, it'd be a lot of fun, but anyway, that's just my, my thought on that, and we could spend some time doing that next week. And I love I love that get tape come no yet on me on that song that Marty just done. I hold all key in time. Yeah, that's a good start in teaching somebody that. Oh, so we'll know one church song when we go to church. You know, I think there's got that mom oldie too in there at the end. <laughs> I know my my girls can really belt that one off, but nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> At least one, huh? <laughs> uh, so that that sounds like a really good project. Um, hey, <laughs> do you see what Antonio put in the chat? <laughs> yeah, I seen that. That's nice. Maybe <laughs> you could do us a demonstration because. Yeah, you should demonstrate. <laughs> it's it's world famous Princess Lord's Prayer. <laughs> Why don't we do that next week, Melody? Uh, with to our version of the Antonio, would you be are you gonna be available next week? Would you be willing to uh demonstrate <laughs> or even just do a video that we could play? <laughs> yeah, I probably can do a video. That'd be awesome. I may not be all dressed up, but I'll do a video that looks at least appropriate so y'all can watch it. I think I think someone needs to video it anyways, because gotta get oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so these young young women need to learn it. <laughs> Maybe uh, the mentors can dress one day and do that if you teach us. Oh. I think the elders should. No. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Um, I, I was, uh, Antonia, uh, last week we talked a lot about uh, sign language, kind of sign language. We watched some old videos and it was really interesting. So 
I'll have to, when I send the recordings out, you might check out last week's session because we uh, talked a lot about sign language and how we use it to teach also. Nice. Yeah, I won't promise that this is like the most traditional Kiowa playing sign language, but it was just shoot I remember we'd be sitting in my living room at 10 o'clock at night the <laughs> night before a performance or whatever practicing and having to do it over again because you didn't do it right so <laughs> there you go practice <laughs> that's awesome probably fun the only sign language I know is what Miss Pat taught taught the uh, Indian club at um, the dance troupe at Anadarko Public Schools. The, the <laughs> Kaiwa hymn that she sings that Dak Yai Ba Da That's the only sign language I know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, um, so growing up, they poor thing, real Kaiwa baby. Um, I learned that go my son back when I was like, one of my first memories was doing that at Mountain View. My grandma Lucille really got dressed up and came and watched me, but I was only like four. I wasn't even in elementary school yet. I was in Head Start at Kiowa Drive. So I still remember doing that. I was like, what are we doing? I, was, um, I think at the time they took us to the Head Start conference somewhere, National Head Start conference. And of course my grandpa Dennis was there and then uh, they really had me get up there and try to do it. I was shame, but got up there and was mad about it and still had to do go my son <laughs> <laughs> oh I would love to see a video of that that must have been awesome I'm sure they were all so proud <laughs> I'm sure I was I just remember throwing a fit about it <laughs> we need to do that and then one day we need to well um Mar Mar Marty and I talked about it uh your grandmother, Lucille, um, she won the very first Kiowa Princess uh, kickball at the Indian Fair in 1940. I was there, I seen it, and even the kickball has a song. We were talking about songs earlier. That's me. And I seen the version, and the women would, uh, they kicked it so easy in time for to a Kiowa song. Y'all ought to revive that as a princess sorority, and y'all ought to I'll do that and revive uh, revive the princess song that was presented to the Kiowa princesses at in the 1950s. Yep, it's got words. Well, let me know. And I always thought that was appropriate. It could be your. It could be your. Uh, organizational song i love the way you guys are sending out uh, sympathy things and uh, acknowledging that we're kaiwas that live all over i've been wanting that for this for so long and they're just now emerging and that is so gracious all of you it's you were taught i just uh, you know it was like a finishing school you had to be uh material to be a princess the families everything and martha and i talk about that quite a bit and there was a reverence there was a different way about it that was a a, a different time and you'd look and say oh that one you know i just had one sister that was one but they denied it she was we both I remember going to Chickasha and all over Amarillo with her to the Waco tanks and stuff. My, one of my middle sisters. They gave me a crown and I was so proud of it for her when you had that meeting in uh, Carnegie. And I still have it, but I still have it. But then they took her off the list because they did, said it didn't happen. And at the time, we were the ones that participated more. And that was my sister, Anna Sue. Mm -hmm. And she said, no, they said I wasn't. So, you know, so there's not an accurate list because there's some, some that were on there, I remember. And, but anyway, she won the kick, the kickball and it's got a pretty song. 
And if you look back on the Ohoma tapes, it might be on there. Those and yeah. y'all ought to make one and practice and see who mm -hmm. wins. We should. I'll make Martha be the first one, me. <laughs> I'm not athletic one bit, let me tell you. <laughs> no kidding. I went with Vanessa and we, uh, about 20 years ago and we delivered one of those kickballs to the museum in Canyon, Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, our exact replica. Mm -hmm. And it was a replica because I don't think anyone had one then, but it was exciting time. You, they'd even had their own cheering squad. <laughs> they got involved, those pictures. Do you um, remember that kickball song, Grandma Dorothy? I can sing part of it, but I can recognize it if I hear it. And it's very slow and smooth, so you don't lose your beat. And, but I'd recognize it if I heard it. Marion's a former princess. Mm -hmm. Miss Marion Hansen, are you there? <laughs> oh, oh, and it's color teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. We've got a pretty cute one right now. She's full of personality. Oh, I know. <laughs> you know, I'm glad she smiles. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Where it happened? I take all the time with since we talk, but to me, it's important. Uh, so I think uh, the breakout rooms are closing in about a minute, um, so we can probably uh, get ready to wrap up. Um, we'll see. Uh, see who. One more over. thing, Melody. One more. I don't want to forget. Okay. Well, I'm this. Dolores's daughter and Sharon Harjo, first Miss Indian Americas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sharon. The, oh. the ones where you had to, you know, like we had the first two Kiwas. That's awesome. I just want to do a lot of things. It's time passing. Oh. All right, let me see. I'm going to message. Uh... The breakout room and uh, okay, they're closing up now, so they'll be hopping back over here, and we can do our uh, closing closing. Here. All right, so for uh for next week, um we're going to uh kind of think about uh <laughs> the Nambae Day prayer some more. And then um Antonia's gonna see about getting us a video that she could demonstrate the Lord's Prayer in Kiowa and sign language. Awesome. So let's see, I think we have everyone back. Hope, hope everyone had a productive time in the breakout room. <laughs> All right, so uh, with that, um, we'll go ahead and wrap up and close out our session today. Um, Antonia, Bedatsai. Paul, Bedatsai. Dog E. They own they get call they taint so all me. Dot a do they. He get I big big egg all me. Not I'll get big egg on. Get ta on. Ain't big get I do. Dog at I get ain't that oh. I hope I own ya. 
obaha a ik on pedo a ho. Amen. Oh. 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 Thank you, Antonia. Uh, awesome. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Aho de Batha. And uh, we will see you next week or on Sunday. So, hega ba oi bonta. Hega ba oi non ta. Oh. 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 Hey, she just closed her. <laughs> you can tell she just.